Customers in some part of Meralco's franchise area experienced a 15-minute power outage Monday after the sudden tripping of the 647 megawatts wall power plant in Luzon, the region's largest power supplier. Power was restored quickly enough, but with Suwal out indefinitely, the unspoken concern is the possibility of an even wider power outage. Even before Suwal trip, the Luzon grid had already been placed on yellow alert, a signal of lower than ideal levels of reserves in the grid. About 1,488 megawatts watts of power was shaved off the grid with the combined planned and unplanned outages of nine of Luzon's larger power plants. This brought down the grid's reserves to 438 megawatts, much smaller than the ideal 647 megawatt contingency reserve. We are hoping na merong ibang mga plantang papasok or babalik ang suwal. Compounding the problem of thin reserves is the sudden spike in power consumption in the Luzon grid. Monday alone, the Luzon grid already surpassed the highest peak demand recorded in 2015. Data from Meralco and NGCP show that Luzon demand hit above 9,000 megawatts, way above 2015's 8,928 megawatt peak demand. The original forecast for, for um, April 2016 was that we will not breach the 9,000 megawatt demand until the second half of April. So the, the, the Luzon grid uh, breached 9,000 earlier than, than uh, what was originally forecasted. We think this will continue. The Department of Energy, however, assures the public that this precarious situation is temporary and will abate come election month when the ban on maintenance shutdowns takes effect. Just the same, the agency renewed calls for consumers to help by controlling their own consumption. Talagang mainit, no? Tumatas ang demand kaysa sa normal, even normal na summer. Mas mataas tayo ngayon ang, ang ating konsumo sa kuryente. Contingencies such as calling on the 650 megawatt Malaya diesel power plant are also in place in case supply from the grid is reduced further. Meralco is also prepared to activate 229 megawatts worth of interruptible load program participants if needed. Michelle Orosa Ople, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.